what is happening across Africa and the Middle East uh, right now in Algeria, in Sudan, in Iraq, in Lebanon is not merely a continuation of the Arab Spring. This is a completely different kind of uprising. This is not a popular uprising that aims to change a leader or uh, take down a dictator. This is a social movement that spread across these countries that is aiming to fundamentally change the way of life and the value system of these countries. And uh, the reason why that is happening and that why this is not the same as the Arab Spring of 2011 is because um, all these states that, are, that just erupted into um, revolutions have one thing in common, and I'm not talking about their tactics and leveraging of technology and all these incredible means they have used and leveraged to achieve nonviolent change, but also in the way they see life and they see the future for uh, the region they belong to. They are seeking through their movements to induce not just uh, change in leadership, but change in the way of life um, in their respective countries. In Sudan, in Lebanon, you will uh, see that these protests have been led largely by women, and there is a good reason for that. It's not just uh, for optics, it's absolutely a statement about a fundamental shift in the way uh, of thinking about their countries and the future of their countries. The tactics and the commitment to nonviolence is not merely, again, a choice to appeal to the rest of the world. No, it's a realization and, again, a statement uh, for the countries they would like to get through their movements and the social change they would like to see in their respective countries. These countries have one thing in common. Majority of people of that country, and I mean 65 to 75 percent of the population, is under the age of 35. That is a critical mass for uh, triggering meaningful social movements. 